Hey world changers, it's me, Miss McCarthy, with your Motivational Monday episode for the week. Today, we're going to talk about a very important three-letter word. But before we begin, do not forget to tap that like button and subscribe or follow so you're the first to know when I drop a new video. Happy Monday to you. I hope that you were able to rest and recharge this weekend, and now it's the beginning of a new week. It's Monday. And I know, I know, Mondays, they tend to get a bad reputation. For a long time, I dreaded Mondays until one day I realized maybe Mondays are making me feel sad and stressed out because that's the message that I keep sending to my brain. What if instead I choose to be pumped and excited about Mondays? That's exactly what I did and I tell you what, it changed my life. So I want you all to get this from a really young age, the idea that Mondays do not have to have a bad reputation. They can be great and exciting and motivating if that is what you choose for yourself. So let's go ahead and bust out our best power poses, okay? Feet apart, hand on your hips looking like a superhero and repeat after me. This is how I Monday. Awesome, let's get to the message for today. In last week's episode, I mentioned before that I created a theme song to one of my math video series called Taking on the Best. And the beginning of it goes like this. Every day is a new day to step it up. That's what we talked about in the last episode. And maybe some days I feel like giving up. I just don't get it, but I can't forget that I'm a believer in the power of yet. I may not know it now, but I will. The power of yet. The power of yet. The power of yet. Y-E-T, yet, is what we are talking about today. Sometimes when we're hit with something new, it can be really challenging and uncomfortable. I'll give you all the squirmy wormies and definitely those frustrated vibes. Let me tell you a little story about when I first started learning how to ride a two-wheeled bicycle. Now, I don't remember a whole lot from when I was little, but when I was four years old, this is a memory that I will never forget. So picture this with me, okay? My mom and the little four-year-old version of me were outside on a beautiful day, outside in the front yard on our sidewalk. And today was the day that I was officially going to start learning how to ride a two-wheeled bike. So my mom held the bike steady as I climbed on and I started to pedal. And of course she was holding on beside me until I gained enough momentum and I was off on my own. Everything was going great and the breeze, it felt amazing as I was speeding down the sidewalk. And then I realized <gasps> my mom, she wasn't by my side anymore. I got nervous and scared and I crashed the bike into my neighbor's yard. I repeated this process over and over again, getting on the bike, my mom helping me as I sped down. And then finally I realized that I needed to do this on my own without my mom's help, without my mom even watching me. So here's what I said, this little four year old saying, mom, I'm gonna need you to go in the house. Now you can watch me from the window. I might not know how to ride this bike yet, but I know that I'm gonna keep on trying until I get it. If you haven't figured it out yet, I was a very determined kid. Very stubborn, yes, but very determined and independent. So my mom went into the house and I got on that bike and I started trying to wobbly pedal myself and I fell down again. But at least I had started by myself this time. Got back on, started pedaling again, got a little bit farther that time and then I fell again. I got on that bike over and over again and I fell a lot, but I was committed to learning how to ride a bike. I'm not sure how long it took, but eventually I was able to get on the bike and start pedaling with enough momentum that I was going straight and I wasn't wobbly anymore. In fact, I got to the end of the street. I pushed back on the pedal so I could slow down and start to use the brake pedal. And I turned the bike around and I rode it back to my house. When I got back to my house, I pressed the brake again. I hopped off the bike and I ran inside to my mom and I said, I did it, I did it. She came running to me and she wrapped me in a tight hug and she said you did do it you woke up this morning not knowing how to ride a bike yet you got some bumps and bruises but you did it you stuck with it you practice and you did it and that's my earliest memory of learning about the power of the word yet that day I didn't know how to ride a bike yet but I was determined to practice until I had it down let's think about it when you were a baby did you automatically know how to walk no 
you had to practice, you had to get up, you had to fall down, you had to get some bumps and bruises, but you did not give up. Back then, you probably had to concentrate so hard on each step, but you've been practicing for years and now you can do it without thinking. You didn't know how to walk yet, but you learned. What about counting? Like one, two, three, four, you didn't just wake up knowing how to count, you had to practice, you had to mess up. Trust me, as a math teacher, sometimes I hear little kindergartners, they go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 14. You've been practicing the power of that word yet since you were a baby. So as you get older, do not lose your ability to believe in yourself. You may not know how to do something yet, but you will if you just stick with it. Do not give up. Continue to practice. Keep going. You can do this. And just like when I ran into the house to my mom and I said, I did it. I did it. There's no greater feeling than being proud of yourself, of overcoming something that was once a challenge for you, but sticking with it and being proud of yourself that you figured it out. So push through when it's uncomfortable. Understand the power of the word yet and keep going until you got it. And that is the takeaway for this Motivational Monday episode to remember the power of that three letter word yet. Cause I'm a believer in the power of yet. I may not know it now, but I will. You may or may not know this, but I am a math teacher for grades three, four, and five. So if you know that you need some help to make math fun, make it click and make it stick, head on over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com. The link is below or somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you you that you were born with something special and it's your job to figure out what it is and then use that to make this world a better place and yes I mean you see you next time world changers